We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a Forrester. That's a private matter, my lords. Foresters have nothing to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros? I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this! I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the North is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. No another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? 
I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? Don't worry. He'll get it done. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north. So we make for Marine. Wait. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Ponte Renas. Yonkai Heroncho si bota con costoti da or. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Hello? Why would someone do this?
Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... Obstacle in question? Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When we last spoke of Elena, you said you'd push to get her father's army. And so you must. Just remember that she'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look... You're really... Welcome to Iron Ruff, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Please. So, here we are. How have you been, Elena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But, Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No. He just wants to show our loyalty. 
I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, I... my father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. <sighs> I wish I could stand by you, Roderick. But I have to be practical. Elena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Elena, we need your army. Without you, our family may not survive. I'm sorry, but I have to think of my family too, Roderick. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like oh, this. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lot, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. Kiss it. Roderick, please. Very good. Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. 
As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. By the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I'll have my revenge. I hope so. I really do. My lord, are you well? This fight isn't over. Not even close. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. It was Finn's fault. I think he might be dangerous. We need dangerous men for what's coming. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You might be right. He said worse about me. He said, you fought for the North with the Foresters. You were there, at the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. 3,000 men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? The men were too drunk to draw their swords. The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walder Frey and Roose Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you, but men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch. those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. And they'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust.
I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wardens. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers, thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'm not like them. I thought that once. Thought I was better than them. But the vows make every man an equal. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Where do you think oh. you're going? At this time of night? I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Can't I just stay a while longer? Please. Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. You were in the throne room earlier. Did you leave me this note? I did. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. I am sorry about this, Mira, but you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. Ah! 
What does it look like? He tried to kill me. Why would he do that? What are you doing here? I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleetwood. No one will ever find him. Don't tell anyone. I won't. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? It's you, isn't it? I'm here, right? Roderick, they said you were gone. Ramsey Snow did this. He did that to Ethan. You're going to hurt him, aren't you? Lord Whitehouse says you won't, because you're a coward. But I know you will. He deserves it. I'm gonna kill Ramsay Snow for what he did. That's enough. Your little chat is over. Step back. Get out of my way. Now. I said you're done. Keep your distance or I'll drag him back to high point right now. What? I have to go back? No. I want to come home. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Roderick, are you going to forget about me? Are you... I will get you back home. I promise. Please hurry. How about a story? No, no. You've had your chance. He's a child. What harm could it do? Make it a quick one. Mother, come join the others. He's right there. My son. But soon they'll take him from me, just like before. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell. Saw our lands destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me 
what it is to be a lord. He was so brave. I never knew a better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. But now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. ice. Iron. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to Swim the shivering sea. Pain slavers pay in crimson rains to bring Ethan back to me. Snow grabbed me from my mother's grasp to claim me as his prize. You have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill needs to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. 
Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else for you to be worried about? What was that?